claim to fame, what makes it new and gee whiz, is the fact that the head can be removed. So if you want to have your meter hooked to the leads into, I'll say, under the dash or in the trunk or some hard to access area, and you'd rather not be having your head down there to look at it, you can, let's say, for example, have it on ohms, have your backlighting on, and you get it all set up. Now we can remove the head and take the head with you to some more comfortable position, like, say, your toolbox or behind the wheel and still control min, max, ranging, and so forth, and the meter is in a hard-to-get-to place uh, on the vehicle. So that's going to be a real blessing to those techs that are uh, struggling with trying to read a meter in a hard-to-get-to place. Going through the list of meter functions, it's fairly the garden variety as far as Fluke products goes. We have the, the red jack for volts, AC or DC, ohms for resistance, the capacitance test, also, you have diode test as well on this meter. Uh, the thermal couple for temp temperature and the continuity tester, the beep test. It's CAT3, uh, 1,000 volts, suitable for hybrid work, as well as CAT4, 600 volts. There are common or chassis ground plugs in here. Uh, 10 amp inline or in internal fuse like most of the meters. And so we can do amperage testing, AC or DC. As we start out off and we turn it clockwise, take a look at our rotary knob functions. We have volts, AC, there's our little sign, wave symbol. And also it has a second function if we hit our little function or shift key, the yellow button. And now we are seeing AC frequency, hertz, times per second. We turn it to DC. We're a little limited here. We can just see DC volts. And then we turn it to millivolts, either AC or DC. By default, AC, the sine wave symbol again, and then hit the shift button, the little yellow button, and we've got millivolts of AC or DC. So we have AC or DC millivolts. One more knob turn, and we've got the horseshoe, the omega for ohms, resistance testing, as well as hit the button, and now we shift it to the continuity test to hear the beep and see if we've got uh, a good circuit, a, con a continuous circuit. Keep turning and we have a choice of either by default capacitance or hit our button and now we are in the diode mode doing a diode test and one more notch we're on temperature and we can shift it from Celsius to Fahrenheit and so forth and then down to AC amperage the 10 amp AC amps or we can actually look at the frequency of AC amperage changing or we can go down to DC amperage. So, a fairly simple meter, very versatile in the fact that we can remove that head and up to 30 feet away, you can be reading the meter while the, the actual device, the measuring device, is on the vehicle plugged into the wires. And 800 uh, megahertz signal, so it's got good range. It's gonna have good reliability in your shop. Now, let's look at some more buttonology. We'll go ahead and turn the meter off. And uh, we know what hold does, min, max. If you're measuring, uh, let's say, volts, ohms, and you want to see the minimum, the maximum of what the reading has read, there's our backlight, or the average, we can cycle that. It defaults to being in the auto ranging mode. And if you want to go into manual mode, you can do that as well. So if we're in, let's say, volts of DC, and we want to be more defined into a, a, a particular range as opposed to auto ranging, we hit the range button. So fairly, fairly much the, uh, the typical fluke features. Now there is one unique feature about this meter besides the detachable head and it has this little symbol of like a lightning bolt with a red triangle. Now you know red triangles in the hybrid world usually mean uh, high voltage or something drastically wrong, like the Toyota Master Warning Indicator is a red triangle. This red triangle indicates the meter is connected to a circuit that's over 30 volts. Now anything over 60 volts, even if it's less than one amp, can be fatal. It can at least cause an injury, if not a fatal uh, injury. So you want to make sure that you've got the proper training, the proper equipment, the proper meter, and this is a Cat 3 meter to work with hybrids, but also Gloves, the Class Zero gloves, we'll talk about that. We actually use the 1587 in action on a, uh, a high voltage battery pack. 
but this will light up if it's over 30 volts. So Fluke has set 30 volts as a, as a, a, a level that says, hey, anything over that, you need to be cautious. We're approaching that range of voltage where it could cause injury or even, or even death if the conditions were just right and you were to touch the wrong cable on the vehicle. So that will light up if you have high voltage. Now, we'll actually, we can go ahead and turn the meter off and go through some of our power-up meter buttonology, if you will. If we hold the uh, hold button down while we turn the meter on, we're going to get a backlighting. It's going to say F233, which is the fluke part number, but we'll get a backlight. We'll get all the segments lit up, including the little red LED that lights up that says over 30 volts has been detected. So all the segments are lit up if you want to test your meter to make sure the LCD is working properly. And if we release that and we go to uh, our min max, press that and turn the meter on, we will have the, the part number come up again and it says beep, that means we have disabled the beep function. So you're gonna have a silent continuity test. And then we turn it back off. Now we go to the little shift button and if we turn it on with the shift button held down, it'll give the meter part number, model number again, then it'll say P for power. The power shutdown is off, so we can prevent it from shutting down uh, automatically after 30 minutes of non-use. So some of the same similar functions to some of the other meters, but with a couple of new ones, the little LED for the high voltage, as well as the removable head to make your job a lot easier working in confined spaces. Well, there's a brief overview of the button, jacks, rotary knobs, the basic functions of several fluke meters, from an old 87, 3 series, to the 5 series, to the new 1587 insulation tester, and the fluke 233 with a removable head. All of them are, have their purposes. One of these is probably in your toolbox. Now, let's get busy and do some bench work so you can really get into the deep part of mastering your multimeter. Then we'll go out to some vehicles and actually do it on the car so that this tool will be the most valuable tool that you own.